Steve, if you want to open with a uh, statement or one question. Yeah, I just want to of our team's defense intensity and you see we can sort out the second half in particular, but the first half as well. And I thought that Lexi and Kyra were a big part of the energy and playing great position. Um, that was important to us to get them out of their rhythm and out of flow. I thought we did, uh, forcing them to shoot 32% from the floor was a good thing for us. Um, we're working on the rebounding. Uh, it disappoints us to get rebounded. Um, on, on note with Kyra, just again, her, her poise, uh, calling things and executing, and, and Lexi had great points. <coughs> and I just, I mean, no turnovers, playing all those minutes with all that attention that she draws. I thought that was really key for us and something we've just got to, we've got to keep going. So good stuff, <coughs> stuff that we can build off of. Kyra and Lexi, go back to the, it seemed like those back-to-back -back steals, uh, well, the second quarter really, really got the spark going. Go so back to that time and just tell us what the mindset was from then on. Um, we just wanted to come out with defensive intensity, uh, really put pressure on them, ball pressure on the guards, and uh, they turned it off and we converted on the offensive end transition. Actually, what enabled you to have such a great uh, game today? Um, I just have been, been doing a lot of meditating, you know, the past couple of games haven't been my best games, you know, mentally or, you know, scoring, passing, sharing the ball, rebounding, I've kind of been a little bit absent in my opinion. Um, you know, I've had some really nice talks with my teammates and Coach P, um, how to get in the gym a little extra um, this past week, but my teammates gave me all the confidence in the world in the first quarter, and I just took that and went with it. You know, there's a play right at the end of the first half. Uh, Steve turned it over, looked like Tech had a breakaway layup, right? And had a few hustle back, mm -hmm. deflected it out of bounds, and ended up not scoring. I wrote it as only one, but it, it, talk about that play. It seemed like there was a carryover from that going into halftime and coming out in the second half. Can you talk about that play? Um, so, just a turnover, you can't make two mistakes in a row, and if you make a turnover, uh, that coach just preached to us, you know, go hard and try and get it back. So I just wanted to make sure that she didn't score and get a stop on defense. Was there a carryover going into halftime and coming out in the first quarter plan, do you think? Um, I think so, but the main thing coming out in halftime, we just wanted to be like hard enough on the defensive end and apply a lot of pressure and be aggressive. You start out the second half, what, 18 nothing, something like that. What happened? What did you really do well? Players a great intensity on defense and complete disruption of them offensively. And then we fed off of that, made good choices, uh, pushed the ball, controlled the tempo, pushed the tempo. Um, you know, I just think it was a, a total a team attack. And I thought the guards were really playing their handoffs well, uh, really blocking their handoffs and, and causing confusion for them. And that confusion led to deflection, steals, turnovers, and then, of course, obviously, just some excellent play, too, in terms of moving the basketball, finding shooters. Uh, Under the players, can you talk about um, uh, Debbie Odom in the second half in particular? First half, she went out after a couple of fouls, and the second half, she came out breathing fire in a way I've not seen her play at all to date, especially on the defensive end. Can you talk about what she meant for you, especially during that big run? Oh, okay. um, you know, we missed her in the first half. She she gives us length. Um, she gives us um, other teams mismatch problems. Um, she gives us a presence inside with her length, like I said. But, I mean, we told her the whole halftime break, you know, Ducky, this is your half. Um, you got this. You got fresh legs. Um, you sat the whole half, so I mean, <laughs> just get the ball and go. And, you know, I think she took that to heart, came out with a lot of energy, and we're, we're proud to see her growing every game. Question for any of the players. You're undefeated at home this year, but you have to start a little bit on the road. You've got a road trip coming up. What do you have to do on the road that you aren't doing that you aren't doing here? I think the main thing is the intensity that we bring at home. Um, just getting after people, especially on the defensive end. Uh, we get to play that way anywhere we go. It shouldn't matter the place that we're at. So we plan to bring this on the road and bring that defensive intensity. What was the uh, defensive game plan against Hicks tonight? I'm sorry? What was the defensive game plan against uh, Shanette Hicks tonight? 12. Oh, sorry, 12. Oh, sorry, 12. Um, the, um, well, to, to make sure that she did not get any layups and did not slice and dice in any way. And I thought our team, based on what I see here, I mean, our, 
guard play, and she had six turnovers and no steals. And so offensively, being aware of her, we made good passes when she was in the vicinity, so she had no steals. And also, to just playing her up and back, we were just making sure that she couldn't get in the paint and create too much. And I thought our defensive positioning, especially by our guards, led by Lexi and Kyra, um, I thought that was difficult to play against. I thought she, she was not sure always what to do. And I think that when you can affect people's poise, uh, that's a very strong statement defensively, if you can affect that. And I think we were able to do that at time. Coach, can you talk about uh, the little interchange at half court with the flagrant? They had a uh, little discussion amongst the coaches and the officials, and then kind of the offshoot of that from that foul play. What do you want to know? <laughs> Whatever you want to tell us. I was, I was extremely concerned um, the way Lexi got hit. And I, I, I just didn't feel that that was appropriate. And so we spoke about that. Lexi following through on that, obviously. After that, did you feel a little more kind of going to the basket a little bit? Just knowing um, that yeah, it well, wasn't well, worth, you know. I mean, to get it up yeah, I mean, our, I mean, like Coach she said, our plan was to get 12, you know, all out of sorts, and she played that way. And um, the way that they were coming after us for our layups, you know, I, I, first things first, we want to protect our bodies. We have a long season. We were up by a lot. I wasn't taught to play that way. I don't know if we taught her to play that way, but that's not how you play basketball. Um, so she was, she was going at us crazy the whole game. Um, I'm glad they got her with a, a flagrant, but it didn't really change their behavior. I think that only gave us more fuel for that half. Um, and, you know, that's the worst thing you can do to me is hit me that way and talk to me in a way that's disrespectful because I'm not that type of person. I'm just going to put my head down and keep playing, play for my teammates. They have my back. Coach B had my back, and I wasn't really worried. Coach, back ahead, 15 second half points. She, she did all the other things, <coughs> rebounding, ball handling, got some steals. Is, is, is she, she struggled a little bit offensively the last few weeks. You see her getting back to where she was for her position? Well, I, she's just growing her game. I mean, Becca can do a lot of things. And I think the four offensive rebounds were totally key to her game. I mean, when she's active and rebounds like that, that's part of her role as a player is to go get the O boards. And I thought she did that and just played off of that. You know, she plays hard defensively, she got some great steals, and I just feel like she's been, you know, steady and coming along. I, I, she def gets defined so much from the shooting thing, which is, I guess, okay, but I look at her as a multifaceted player, and she can do a lot of things, so I, I just like her staying focused. You, you never know how a game's gonna break. You could have two points in you know, one half and 20 in the second, you, or, or vice versa. You just never know, and I thought she kept her poise and just kept playing very hard. Just looking at the first half turnovers, only had three in the first half, and only zero. Like you didn't have a single turnover in the second quarter. How does that? How did it kind of impact offensive confidence going into the second half? Me? Anybody? Yeah. Well, I love it when the team takes care of the ball. For the record, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a great thing. We had turnovers are an awful thing, unless you're like Kyron and you streak down the floor and block a shot. That does take away the turnover for sure. 